Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. So, hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it is Friday. It's the end of the week. Here we are. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about silver um, today. We're just kind of focusing on silver because a lot of people are starting to say they think the price is going to come crashing down as they're about ready to raise interest rates. Now, to a certain point, if interest rates go up, the dollar supposedly gets stronger. And thus, we see stuff come down in price. Oil, silver, gold, that type of stuff. But is that going to happen? Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Uh, it keeps pushing me on, uh, hitting that thumbs up, that subscribe, and leaving me a comment. So many people, it blows my mind. Uh, don't take the quick minute to hit that thumbs up or subscribe. Literally... Um, we've had videos where thousands of people have watched and a lot of them don't take the minute to hit it So please take a minute hit it. It really helps the channel with that being said um, What do I think is gonna happen? Uh, you know Here's the thing. I do believe that we're gonna be raising interest rates um, We raise interest rates the dollar will get stronger but the thing is with silver in my opinion being so undervalued and unappreciated um, and I'll say shorted because that ultimately is what I believe that it does come down to um, the huge amounts of shorts that are out there and the huge amounts of silver that is getting snap snapped up off the exchange um, eventually it's going to start to cause a problem now is it bad that it hasn't happened yet um, you know, some people, if you're new to stacking, well, you're pretty thankful. You don't want to see it happen anytime soon. If you've been stacking a while, then yeah, maybe you're excited for it to happen. But you know, here's the thing. I'm not really super excited and I've got plenty of silver. Um, I've got a fair amount and I, I'm not too, too excited that it will go up because I know that the price of everything else that we buy potentially will be going up with it. Um, the only hope that I kind of have is the possibility that silver has been manipulated for so long that when everything has a small jump, we could see an astronomical jump. And the reason that is, is all these places that have been shorting, all these banks that have been shorting silver, individuals, some individuals short silver, uh, mostly it's the big banks that's taking its toll on shorting it. However, eventually, if one, the banks start having trouble, financial trouble, they're going to have to kind of start cutting those positions. And if that happens, I mean, that means they've got to buy that back up. And when that starts to happen, that can get pretty interesting. Uh, those of you guys that have been following Wall Street bets, um, understand now what happened with uh, GameStop and we've seen GameStop go really astronomical um, it's, it was down to as low as like four dollars a share shot all the way up to like 300 a share 350 something like that and it, here's the thing it didn't go when when all this started happening it didn't go to its fair market value it really overshot that and it went way above it and the reason that is is People that were shorting that stock, eventually they had to buy their position. They had to buy their shares back and at higher prices. So even though the price had, for for what from what most people had seen, the price had climbed and it couldn't climb anymore, <laughs> when those shorts had to start settling, then really there was no stopping how high it could potentially go. And I believe that could happen with silver. Um, I'm not going to sit here and and fill your head with $600 silver, $1,000 silver, $2,000 silver, because we've all heard them. We've heard them time and time again all over YouTube. And, and it, to a certain point, it is said for clicks. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I talk about it, too. Um, and I know that it has a better amount of clicks. Um, however, I actually believe you guys know because I do package openings, you know, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not licensed to give financial advice, but I am 
okay to give my opinion. Um, and that's kind of what this is, is my opinion. Um, that silver is going to go a whole lot higher. And we're going to see how it plays out. Now, do I want to go out and spend high premiums? Well, no. But actually, the premiums are starting to inch down right now because the demand for silver is kind of coming down. A lot of people are, I don't know, losing love for it maybe. Or maybe they're just doing what I'm doing and they're waiting to see a nice little dip. Uh, I do believe there will be a dip coming, um, which I know some people may not want to hear, but how much of a dip? I mean, a dollar dip would be pretty nice, um, especially you guys seen some of my packages that I open. I mean, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. Um, if you get a dollar an ounce off and you've got a hundred ounce package, then essentially that's a good savings. That's an extra, you know, four ounces later that you can pick up, um, how much of a dip do I think, though? I, I Like I say, I think a dollar is going to be about the best that we can get. And if I get that, I'm going to be happy. Um, I'm also looking for other ways now to start paying for my silver. Um, paying for it, you guys know I've said in the past, sometimes uh, some websites that I use, I get to use a credit card. Um, if I use a credit card... Uh, the intent is I'll pay it off uh, with when the bill comes, which can be in some cases as much as, you know, 50 to 60 days, somewhere around that time frame. A lot can happen in 50, 60 days. Uh, by the time the bill has to be paid, we could see silver plunge by a dollar or go up by a dollar. Um, and that's an understatement, really, because we've seen last just last week we saw a couple jumps that were a buck a jump. Um, two dollars in two days, which is pretty crazy. Um, so in my personal opinion, I'm going to keep stacking. I hope you guys are doing the same. Now, when it comes to what you're stacking, uh, you know, it, my personal belief, it doesn't matter if you stack junk silver, kind of like this. These are some 90% silver quarters. Or if you're stacking uh, rounds, these happen to be some buffalo rounds. Um, just one ounce, or if you're stacking, you know, I don't know, 10 ounce bars. Well, what's this one? Is this 10 ounce? No, it's a five ounce, five ounce bar on this one. And then I actually got a 10 right here. And then this is kind of crazy because this is actually a 10 right here. Ironically, this one feels heavier than this one, but it looks smaller. And a lot of it has to do with the size. You can see that the size is basically double on the thickness. Um, and then when you look at it like this, it doesn't even cover. You got all this here. So um, these, are, these right here, these are nice bars. I like these. So, you know, but where I'm going with that, it's probably not going to matter what you're buying. If, if silver really runs away... Um, you can do very well with it, in my opinion. Do I think, uh, one of the questions that I'd had a while back was, you know, it would be too hard to sell a 10 ounce bar if silver goes to the moon. And in some cases that's 600 all the way up to $2,000. Well, yeah, I'll be honest. In some cases, a 10 ounce bar at hypothetically, $1,000 an ounce, because it's an easy number, that's why I'm choosing that, would make this bar at 1000 bucks an ounce, you're talking ten grand. Um, it would be a whole lot easier to sell one ounce than this. I, I had someone ask me, too, who would buy it at that price. You know, the same people that are buying gold coins are going to be buying silver. It doesn't really matter what it is, what the price is. There'll be a whole new crowd of stackers, and it'll be just like crypto, essentially. You know, I remember when crypto was, Bitcoin specifically, was all the way down to $400. And I said, who would ever buy that, and who would ever buy it if it ever got up to five or ten grand? Um, here people are buying it at 30 60 I mean, We've seen as high as 70 that people were buying it. To think that someone wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for an ounce of silver, 
is an understatement in my opinion, especially if something happens in the crypto market, the stock markets, to the dollar. There's a lot of things that could happen. I'm not filling your head up with nonsense of $1,000 silver, but I am saying we never know what could happen. Um, one reason why I do mention the $1,000 silver theory sometimes is because with gold trading as high as $2,000, I mean, it comes out of the ground 10 or 12 to 1. So you would think 10 or 12 would be right, but I'm taking a safe number at 20 to 1. A lot of you guys that have been following the gold-silver ratio have seen, I won't say you've seen 20 to 1, but... It's been a while, um, but it has been down there. So who knows? We'll see what happens and how that will play out. Now, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please take a quick minute. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. Um, we do have a 10,000 subscriber giveaway right around the corner now. So please take a quick minute. Don't forget, you hit that subscribe. Hit that thumbs up so more people will see the video. And I will see you guys again on T-Square Talk. I hope you all have a great night. It is literally 2 in the morning here where I'm at. Um, but, hey, uh, it never sleeps. Money never sleeps. And uh, neither do I because I'm here for you guys. So take care, everybody. Hope you all have a great night. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.